today in this video, I'll be showing you how to make this recycled candy bag pouch. It has a zipper on it, so you can put things in it. There's other varieties you can make like this. So let me know what you think about this tutorial. Thank you. Bye. I could play the background I could play the background Cause I know sometimes I get in the way So won't you take the lead, lead, lead So won't you take the lead, lead, lead And I could play the background, the background And you could take the lead You want to start by getting your wrapper and cutting the edge off. Now get your fabric and fold it in half. Place your wrapper on top of it and trace all around with some chalk. And you want to place something heavy on it to keep it in place. Now you want to get your pins and pin the fabric in place and cut around the line. Now you have two pieces. Now get your wrapper and place it over your clear vinyl and trace all around. Then cut around the line. to get your wrapper and you're gonna cut and separate the front piece from the back piece. Make sure your pieces stay even all around. Now you're going to get your candy wrapper and place your clear vinyl on top and get your zipper and place it face down so it's right sides together. And usually the zipper pull is on the left side of the front of the pouch. Now get your fabric and place the right side of the fabric touching the wrong side of the zipper. To hold the pieces in place, you're going to use your bobby pins. If you use regular pins, they're going to pull cold on the clear vinyl, so bobby pins are better. Now you're going to go over to your sewing machine and sew the fabric, the zipper, and the wrapper in place. The way I sewed it, you're going to sew on the right side of the zipper teeth. Now flip it over and press the vinyl down. Now top stitch right here. You want to sew very close to the seam. You also want to pull your fabric so the seam stays even. For the other side, you want to put your right side of the fabric touching the wrong side of the zipper and put your vinyl and the wrapper right sides together with the zipper. Now sew and top stitch the same way you did to the other side. 
like this. Now get your fabric and put the right sides together, making sure these seams stay even on both sides. Depending on the size of your bag, you're going to leave an inch and a half on both sides at the bottom and make a line in the middle as an opening so you can flip it inside out later. Now get a piece of paper and put it in between your vinyls so they don't stick together. And make sure you leave your zipper open so you can flip it inside out. Now you're going to sew all your sides using a regular presser foot, but don't sew the line you marked. get to the sides of the zipper, you want to go slow and double stitch for extra strength. Now you're going to cut off all your corners. Now fold down making sure your side seam lines up with your bottom seam. This step is called squaring. You want to mark a 1 inch line, making sure it's straight. You're going to do this to all your corners and sew along the line. You want to make sure your bottom seams are folded the same direction so they can lay flat. Now cut off all your corners. This next step is a little difficult, but you're going to take out the entire bag. Push out all your corners. Now you're going to close your opening by pinning and sewing very close to the seam. And now you're done. Let me know if these steps are easy to follow. Thank you. I get in the way, so won't you take